This is my Darwin FPV Baby A V2. It's the 3S LiPo and 3 inch propeller version, not the larger Baby A2. I added a GPS chip. I have the squad as a fun little park flyer and I wanted to flash to beta flight version 4.5, but I ran into some problems along the way. And this is for all the three people who are having the same problems. So welcome to beta flight. Let me just quick connect cable to my copter. The first thing I recommend before flashing firmware is to make a backup. So we go to the left to presets and we click on save backup. And then we save the thing as you can see I already have one. So you can see I already updated my firmware. It's on 4.5.1. And so the next step after we have the backup is to go to update firmware. Now we can auto detect a board and now mine goes to the correct Darwin F411 when I tried this the first time originally from the factory I got Matek F411 and when I run the update well let's just say it didn't work too good. Basically I had no gyro movements <laughs> I didn't get any movement in the receiver tab. Okay, my controller is not connected right now, so I won't get any right now. Yes, so it's the best to automatically choose the Darwin F411 board. Choose the newest version of the firmware. Go to load firmware and flash firmware. Sometimes this doesn't work then the best thing to do is to close beta flight. Go to this nice website called Impulse RC, go to Downloads and download the driver fixer. You can run it with just one click and it will put your flight controller into DFU or into update mode. Then we open beta flight again and proceed with the update. Afterwards, if you reconnect and you move your quad, you will immediately recognize you have a new problem because the orientation of your gyroscope is now wrong. And if I move my copter to the right, it will maybe move to the front or something. Or the image will move to the front to be more exact. And we can correct this. Luckily, I found a guy who already found the solution. So great thank you to Hashling Guis. Hustling quiz, I don't know. And all we have to do is to copy this little bit of text, go to the CLI dump, paste it, and hit enter. And this will fix everything, or at least it did for me. I will put the text into the video description so you can use it. And I hope everything will work out for you don't have the same problems that I did and you have a lot of fun with your baby ape.